Hey, I'm Eric Peterson, broker and owner of Copa Real Estate. You know, a lot of people are asking me, well, what's the effect on the real estate market with coronavirus? Is it a good time to sell? Is it a good time to buy? And I just wanted to make a, a quick video talking about what we're seeing in the market right now. Now, first off, I want to say, of course, the real estate market's not the most important thing. Obviously, people are dying, and that's more important than probably a little bit of fluctuation in the real estate market. But I know people are nervous and people are asking me about this, so I just wanted to send this out. What we're seeing so far is really not a lot of difference in the market. So just this past weekend, even on a day when the stock market was down 7%, we had a couple of offers on a really beautiful listing. We had another client go forward on uh, making an offer above asking price on a house. And then we've got uh, several other buyers and sellers that we're working with that uh, we're going forward with and they don't seem to be too nervous or panicked about it. I think a couple of things to look at is that we know, of course, we don't know where this is going to go and it'd be a little bit naive to say that we're totally insulated from any effect on it and probably where things might show up more is when people start looking at their financial statements at the end of the quarter and might see that they don't have quite as much money as they did maybe uh, a few months ago. What impact that's going to have? I'm not sure. The, when we look at the supply and demand statistics in our real estate market right now, there's really a couple of buyers for every house. And so even if we see a, a, a little bit of a drop off in the number of buyers combined with most of the sellers that we work with are not desperate to sell, I'm not optimistic that you're going to see a lot of deals out there in the market right now if you're thinking about buying. And so our advice to people right now is that because it's so hard to find that great house, that when you see it, particularly with interest rates so low, you really should go forward, in my opinion, especially if you're uh, uh, thinking about this as a long-term type of uh, ownership of the home. If you're selling the home, like I said, we just don't know exactly where things are gonna go. Where, in my mind, where we might see a little bit of a change is the buyers have been willing to pay significantly over appraised value. The good thing is the further we get into the year, appraisals may catch up with the sales prices better anyway. But when people have lost uh, money in the stock market, they may not be quite as enthusiastic about cashing out their stock to pay above asking price on a house. So it's, always, it's also possible that even though we don't, won't see, uh, probably won't see a huge drop in the market, we might not see quite as much of a spike in the market as what we were expecting either. Those supply and demand numbers are gonna be really important to watch as we go forward into the year. And what that means is the active homes for sale and the homes that are under contract, because that tells you exactly what's going on at that snapshot in time. The sales statistics that we're looking at from, from a home selling today went under contract maybe a month or six weeks ago. And uh, so that's more in the past. So we really wanna keep track of what's happening in the current market. If you have any questions about your particular home or your particular situation, which is what you should always be concerned about, give me a call or text directly at 512-791-7473. Thanks for watching and make it a great day.